Good morning everybody, it's Michael here from the Trading Institutional Order Flow Thread on Forex Factory. I hope you're all well. It's the 17th of August 2017. We're in the summer and a bit of doldrum time actually. Um, taking a little bit of a break, obviously get some rest and relaxation. I hope you guys are doing the same, but I thought I'd still post a video looking really at weekly charts this week. Um, just to give you an idea of, of um, what I see in the markets. Um, so let's start with the market that keeps on giving, um, the US stock market. This is the Dow 30. And I, you'll see I've already marked this out. I was talking with one of my friends about this a few days ago. So my annotations are still on there. So we had a bit of a break with Mr. Trump um, and the North Korean issue. So that I was saying was an opportunity for us to possibly look for buying opportunities in, in this market. There haven't been that many pullbacks um, to get in recently. The last one, as you'll see, was down in here. Um, let me just get the tool. So the last one was there if you wanted to buy it. Um, and since then, it's just gone on with continuation patterns. Since then, not really much of a pullback. So. The idea was if the North Korean issue continued, which thankfully it hasn't, um, it looks like tempers have cooled now. Um, we, we may still get something to pull us back into this area and give us an opportunity to buy. So that's the US 30. Let's quickly run through. Let's go to the US dollar as well whilst we're talking about the United States. And you can see the weekly chart. It's been a very difficult time for the dollar of late. We're now down in these areas which are not really demand zones for us to look for their their pivot lows their you know what people would call support areas and you can see price has stalled there the last four or so weeks um, we have supply above in the US dollar um, mainly that area and that area um, those areas we'd be watching we have demand further down here in these levels here so it's not looking great, even if we get a rally from these um, not so great already tested levels, it, it will meet up with challenges up in here. Um, and the opposite of that would be the Euro, which has had a very good time. Um, and so far, we also haven't had that much of a pullback in the Euro. We have levels down in here that we're watching to engage price in um, if and when we do get a pullback into those areas. Looking at the Australian dollar as well, it's had a breakout finally through that area that it, it had been trading through. You can see how many times it tested it. We've now formed a, a good looking demand zone down below. We're yet to pull back to that dough and above us, we have still that to, to get through. We're trying to get through a very big area right now, but that's not really ideal for trading too much it's probably best to look to see if anything does tickle your fancy inside here but I'm looking more at the higher level um, of that one let's take a look at the um, cross pair the euro pound so the pound has suffered against the euro um, we, we've got demand we've got demand and above us we're right now sitting in all of this above us there's really nothing so it doesn't look great for the pound against the euro right now. Um, it's gonna. We'll see how it goes there, but that one's definitely in a clear uptrend that we would want to engage on the buy side. Taking a look at the dragon, we're kind of caught sideways. Nothing really happening in this pair. It's really suffering through the summer doldrums, as we've said. Um, we've got that area that's been holding up price above and we've got that area that's been holding down price below it so we're kind of in the middle of nowhere right now taking a look at uh, what should we look at guys let's take a look at the US CAD okay so this is an annotation for a smaller time frame um, what time frame was that anyway maybe a four hour so looking at this one now we have just fallen shy of a demand zone down in here. We may still get there. We have supply zones above us um, and it's been in a downtrend. So again, 
it's it's not looking particularly great for for right now it's it's in the middle hasn't really done too much yeah and finally taking a quick look at the US dollar Japanese yen let's see what we have here nothing really <laughs> nothing really we have that area above there holding down that one holding up so right now if you were if you had a gun to your head and you were forced to make a decision it would probably be looking for buying opportunities because you are down but this is not a market really to trade in terms of holding it for long positions okay let's take a quick look at crude oil oh, talk about suffering crude oil has not really done much but we are coming into a little bit of um of a demand area now so you might start to see people getting into some long positions coming off of that supply um, so you may overall though it's not one again it's not one to for me right now to hold for a long period because you can see if I box this whole area we haven't really gone anywhere for, for some time okay guys so I just thought I'd do a, a, a really quick video just so because I know a lot of you um, watch the videos and thank you for doing that we're going to be resuming our um, webinars um, in September after the holidays and I'll, I'll be announcing the dates shortly we'll probably have one early September sort of to prepare us for the last quarter of, of the year starting in October so we'll probably have one sometime in September maybe early September but I'll, I'll check my diary for the dates Thank you to all of you who subscribed. Thank you for the kind comments and the rough comments. Um, it's all it's all good. Thank you very much. Um, I wish you all well, and hopefully we'll speak again soon. Take care, everybody. Trade safe.